Okay, so today we're going to learn how to solve um, or set up equations with variables on both sides from word problems. So the first word problem we're going to look at is very, very similar to stuff we did yesterday. We're going to focus on perimeters of shapes. And in this situation, we know that the two shapes have equal perimeters. So I know the perimeter of this shape is the same as the perimeter of this shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the perimeter of this shape. And what these dashed lines mean is that this side is equal to this side, which is equal to this side. So let's find the perimeter of the triangle. The perimeter of the triangle would be 3x plus 3x plus 3x. Then I'm going to go over here to the rectangle, and I know it has the same perimeter. So since it has the same perimeter, I know it's equal. And we're going to find the perimeter the same way. Well, in a rectangle, this side's equal to this side, so that's 2x. And this side's equal to this, so that's x plus 6. So I'm going to have 2x plus 2x plus x plus 6 and plus x plus 6. And I ran out of room over there, but that's going to be okay. So let's move this down and start combining stuff. So I can see on this right side, I'm going to have 9x. Oops. I'm going to have 9x because 3x plus 3x plus 3x equals 9x. On this other side, I'm going to have 2x plus 2x plus x plus x. So that's 4, 5, 6x's plus 12. And now I'm just going to get x all by itself. And as you can see, in this case, we had variables on both sides. So I had a ver like x's on this side, and I had x's on this other side. So since we had variables on both sides, we just solve the rest by getting the variables by themselves. Those cancel out. I'll have 3x equals 12. Then let's do the very, very final step and get that x is equal to 4. So if we go all the way back up here, we'll find that, hey, x is equal to 4, so we solve this portion. So that is 4. Now we have to find their perimeter. And I'll find their perimeter by taking one of the shapes and plugging in for x. So this one's probably the easiest one to plug in. So my triangle, if we look over here, my triangle had a perimeter of 9x. So we'll go down here and put in 9. And instead of writing x, I'm going to write 4, because that's what we found x is. And I'll get that. That answer is 36. Try the um, perimeter problems of, of uh, the different like the different equations. So try the ones that have perimeters or have shapes. And in the second video, we'll go over the other type.